hello guys this is Afronix. today we are going to look at a project which is automatic temperature dc fan okay so the main objective of this project is that we sense the temperature around um, our environment which will then be converted and sent into microcontroller then which will automatically um, rotate our fan based on the environmental condition which simply means if it is too hot the fan level increased if it is too cold the fan level decreases all right just wait until the end of the at the end of the video i will show you step by step on how to get this purchase file and also the code for the project so with that let us look at the block diagram and see some explanation all right so here is the block diagram we have the power supply you know the microcontroller will be using five voltage so this voltage supply will take an ac voltage step it down to five dc voltage which will then be sent to the microcontroller and it will be powered up and the microcontroller will be using is 8051 microcontroller so how does this project work it worked like we power up our microcontroller then we have this our lm35 this lm35 is a temperature sensor with a precision whose output voltage varies depending on the temperature around it it is a small integrated circuit that can test the temperature from minus 55 degrees celsius to 150 degrees celsius all right then its output is then be sent to the adc0804 and this adc convert the analog output of the lm35 into a digital values okay and these digital values are then be calculated and sent to the microcontroller here that is 8051 which then do some calculations based on the program implemented in it to find the duty cycle after calculating the duty cycles then they would use this motor driver l293d it's a module so which is high bridge motor driver and this driver is connected to the dc fan or dc motor okay in our case we are going to use motor which will then replicate the dc fan this will then receive and send current to the dc fan based on the values received from the microcontroller so when it if it gives um the dc fan sufficient current then the fan increases less current then the dc fan decreases which basically means in a layman's term that the greater the current the faster the speed and the lesser the current the lesser the speed of the fan so here the values of the temperature which has been sensed by the lm35 ic then be shown here with the help of 8 bit led binary counter so with all said and done let us go straight into our purchase and run this circuit and see how it works now here is our lm35 and then here is our adc here is our microcontroller here is our l293d and then here is our motor which will be serving as the fan all right and then here is our oscilloscope and then here is our step down voltage here is the um, eight bit binary counter so let us run this circuit and see how it works okay. let me cancel this first as we can see the it is at minus 
minus 55 degrees celsius so if we increase you see the fan is not rotating and this one is at zero and we say that it will start counting when it is from zero upwards then this will start to activate so let us increase this now it started increasing and the fan is gradually rotating now here is the maximum this temp this can read the maximum temperature this can read which is 150 degrees celsius and which has been indicated here in binary form and the fan is rotating at its maximum speed all right so this is how we go about it so if we reduce this now let us view the pore, the PWM which is pulse width modulation. If we go to the box and then look for our oscilloscope, here is it. You see. So as we, it, this is the width. Let's see. Here is the width. So as we decrease the temperature, the width become narrower and narrower and narrower. So we can see. If you are increasing. It becomes wider okay that means the speed of the fan is going high a lot of current is being sent to the fan so guys now it's time for us to go through on how to download the this file all right so here is the download page and mind you the link to this page is in the description below just click it and follow along and one very important message is that this project was done by a team and this team involve abba awa aisha sumaya abdul rahman and abdullah so they um, did this project for lab and uh, after seeking their consent, they gave me the green light so that I'll go ahead and publish it for the benefit of all. So, if you gain any benefit from this project, well, don't forget these people because it is because of their effort this project came to fruition. Uh, so, if you scroll right down, you'll see this download button you say subscribe to unlock the link so if you click on this button a new window will be opened and this window will navigate us to a phonix youtube channel so if you haven't subscribed yet you just smash the red button and don't forget the bell as well but if you have subscribed as i have done so it will be shown here subscribe so it go back to the previous page go right down again to the link it will now say thanks now click to download it click on it wait for a while and it will start to download here all right so let us go and unzip this zip all right so after unzipping you have this um ppt file that is the powerpoint so if you want to present this project you can use this powerpoint and then you can modify it later and then we have this one which is the um the purchase the purchase file so if you click on this one to open okay so you have it like this and mind you for like the one i presented previously if you want to change the color background and other i like other coloring you just go to this template and then go to um set design colors or you go to graphics styles okay set graphic styles then you can change the background color so on and so forth so if i run this project and mind you the source code is here right here it is there it is written source code so you can go through them this is these code setup okay the assembly language so you can come here and then if you go on this and mind you this um code is already into the microcontroller so no need to upload a new one so it's already set there so if you click on play now we can see everything is running fine just fine okay Let's see it's running fine so this is what i have for you today thank you for watching this video